Hi, I'm Craig Hopkins, and on behalf of How To ASAP, I want to welcome you to a trunk center pan install. So drop on in the trunk with me, if you will. I'm going to make a cut right here, take the end of that off. Now, I will be reusing this part right here. This is where you can kill your car, so watch, watch my technique, and when I get to that spot weld, I don't just dive into it because it'll cut the base metal to smithereens. I'll take and I'll try and lift this metal over the top of it. Just took trusty ball peen hammer right here. And the metal, when I had cut up off the braces, was stood up coming through the floor. And I just wanted to fold it down so that when I take this trunk center pan, which I'm going to grab right now, and lay it down in a hole, it will lay down as flush as possible for me. Because we want to do some scribe work and we want that to be accurate. This, uh, this will be a better look for us. There it is. The pan's sitting down in there and it looks, actually looks pretty good. You can see the lines are lined up right here. The next step, obviously, is to step in here with your scriber and scribe a line. Now, what you want to be able to see, obviously, is this line, when you get the pan, back up out of the car. This is our guide. Let's start right back here in this corner and go with the direction of the wheel. See how I have the dolly on the outside and I've hit the inside just brought the flange right up. Now I'm going to step back out of the way and you're going to look at the floor pan in there and what you're going to realize is it fits on the front right up here. It's perfectly in alignment. That'll look just like it belongs in the car. The back's in alignment back here. And we'll do a little dolly work. You'll see that when I weld it in the car. I've got a gap back there. Now what I need to do is find exactly where the rails are in the car so I can make the last cut on the car and on the pan. I'm going to scribe the tank braces and the reason I'm going to do that is so we can drill the trunk floor so we can plug weld on top. So you're returning the structural integrity back to the car just as if it never had a pan put in it. This pan is now becoming a piece of the original car structure and that's what you have to do. Let's take a little recap on what we've done right here. We've taken a car, we've supported it, we've obeyed all the safety rules, we put the flammables up, and then we began to work. And we used our minds and we laid out the project correctly, and you saw exactly how to cut it and make it fit so you could do the lap weld, the butt weld, and the plug weld. Put the car together structurally again, sound car, great repair. This is a type of a project right here that will give you the confidence to build more on your car.